My pet is not coming. Come on. <laughs> pet is being so annoying. Uh, he's gonna kill me now. <laughs> okay, you know what? He asked for it. Okay, so just a small intro here before we get into an actual battleground, because this is clearly not <laughs> a battleground. Um, the War Within is kind of being guessed to come out, like, what was it, like, the 30th of July, I think? Like, somewhere around there, like, people are speculating because of something that popped up on the PTR, uh, different things that Blizzard has announced when it comes to the in-game shop. You know, there's different speculations there. Um, but because of that, I have decided to try out something where we basically go into a battleground with each class, basically, and see how they feel like. Let's be honest here, it's probably going to be for each spec, because each class doesn't really count, because if you're more interested in Marksmanship Hunter and I go in with Survival Hunter, it's not really going to give you anything. So we're going to try to go into a battleground uh, with each type of spec and basically when the war within pre-patch arrives and everything changes and you know some classes got reworks and you know different changes uh, we're going to try and go in and see how they feel and how they're different this is of course going to be without testing the hero talents because they won't actually be out until the actual expansion arrives but um, just testing how the core class gameplays for all the different specs have changed is something that I think could be pretty fun to do. Some of these classes are going to not be the best geared, but it's more or less how they feel to play sort of thing. So it's not about how much DPS can I pump in a battleground. Uh, it's more about how they feel to play. So even though some are pretty well geared and some are not that well geared, uh, because I can't possibly, <laughs> with my job and everything, uh, level every single class and every single spec, with that as well, I do also want to announce that if pre-patch is coming out in a month and maybe around like eight days or something, there is something we can do to prepare for it, which is you can actually go transmog farming in raids, dungeons too, I guess, and just kind of leave it in your mailbox. And it's not something that has been confirmed to work, but I'm pretty sure that if you just leave it in the mailbox instead of actually looting the bosses, then when we do actually get the pre-patch and the warband system kicks in, you can then open all the mailbox items and get all the transmogs. That makes sense, right? <laughs> it makes sense to me. So I might do some recordings or maybe even some streams where we just kind of go around and we just start doing all the different raids, try to get all the different transmogs and just get them in our mailbox. And then, you know, it's something we can do together because maybe that's something people would enjoy to have in the background, you know, while they're playing on the their own um, but having all that transmog farmed in for the war within pre-patch is something i think would be kind of a neat thing to do um, maybe even get some mounts in the runs who knows so with that said i'm gonna go ahead and jump to when the battleground actually queues because i have been signed up 30 seconds too long bliss it's eight minutes queue time right but it's eight minutes and 36 seconds now <laughs> uh, some people actually like that um Q times are weird. Oh, it popped. Okay, <laughs> go in. <laughs> hey, okay, so we only waited. Well, I can't tell the, it doesn't say now because it popped. People will decline. It's always like that. They have to decline a couple of times. They have to play, uh, what, do you, what do you say, hard to get. <laughs> and then we can finally go in. Or maybe not because it's actually 15 out of 16. Oh, right, there we go. We, uh, <laughs> we queued up. Uh, some people might not know, but there's a bunch of quests you can pick up inside Well Dragon in order to uh, get more conquest and get more honor as you uh, do these battlegrounds. Someone just... <laughs> he just marked my pet. I guess he misclicked. Again, like people have been joking about, um, my main on the channel is my, my pet here. Because <laughs> every hunter has it. Um, yeah. So... We're going to do a battleground as Survival Hunter. I have done something a little bit different. And this might be something that ends up uh, shooting me... How do you say so? Like, uh, it might not go so well. Because I've tried to change my spell setup to match with the reworked Hunter <laughs> in the War Within. I know we don't have it yet, but... I, I, I don't know, like, I, I got so used to playing with a certain setup when I, you know, played the beta that I just decided to set it up like this. So now we we have all the spells a little bit differently than I would had it, you know, been old Survival Hunter. Um, 
Okay, so we're going into the uh, battleground with a tenacity pet. Just a little bit of uh, backstory uh, because it has more self healing. Uh, a lot of people were talking about ferocity pets, and while it does have leech, like a 10% leech, it is in no way as valuable as having a on demand heal um, that you can actually press, which by the way works very well in harmony together with acceleration because it increases your health pool and then in turn heals you more with acceleration. So uh, there's a little bit of stuff there to be aware of. Let's actually get some healing. Uh, we're going to try to go around and capture Shrine. I think that's the best thing to do. Do a little bit of 1v1 uh, as old survival hunter. Uh, it's not going to go well, most likely, but we'll do so anyways. Okay, we'll run over here. Oh, they already captured it. That's no good. Let's see if we can get over to it in time. Okay, we can, because there's a uh, paladin. Wait, hold on. Okay, go back to uh, ruins. Because ruins is heavy under attack <laughs> by everyone. <laughs> it's like, what did I see? Like four people? Oh, okay, three people now because he uh, went the other way. No, 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 no. They captured it. Okay, well, that's okay. Okay, so we're going to do our rotation here. We're going to open up. Boom. I'm going to try to get this guy because he's the healer. Okay, distract him. Yes, he captured it. Good. He did so well. A lot of people go into these battlegrounds and they just... Um, oh, he's uh, tranquilling. No need to attack him then. Now we can. Rip. Uh, a lot of people go into these battlegrounds and just DPS. And it's so annoying. <laughs> I'm the type of person who uh, who actually loves doing objectives, uh, unlike so many others. Like some people do, but it's it's not something you see often. It's always kind of like, um, okay, let's actually go capture something. Shrine has been captured. Uh, let's go see if we can uh, help get the middle, because it needs a little bit of help. When you have a healer backing you up, by the way, Survival Hunter feels okay. Uh, the whole issue I had with Survival Hunter before... Um, that's the healer. Okay. Uh, the whole issue I had with Survival Hunter before uh, was the fact that we had no self-healing. So, if you went in a 1v1 situation, you just did not do well. Good. Pain death. Get a shield up because they are attacking. Oop. Can't do anything except trap them in place. Get a good distance. Oop. I'm getting healed. That's good. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, there's no way of. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get the middle here. Uh, maybe we will because there's a lot of people going here. Uh, that being said, let's not have them capture every single capture point just because everyone in the team is in the middle. Jeez. Stop it. Go away. My pet is not coming. Come on. <laughs> pet is being so annoying. Uh, he's going to kill me now. Uh, might as well acceleration. Go. <laughs> okay, you know what? He asked for it. He asked for it. I am not gonna just sit here and take it. Okay, he ran. There we go. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Come on. No, no. You stay here. Oh, a coward. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna be pestering me, thinking he's all that, and then uh, he runs off at the <laughs> at the last point. Uh, I'm still taking damage. That's no good. 
yeah, so people are so focused on the middle now that everything else has been captured. And usually that tends to happen when we have a lead. So that's no good. Okay, he took that. That's good. Let's go take uh, the ruins because that seems like it needs help. Okay. Um, yeah, so Ferocity Pet, a lot of people kept recommending that. Uh, I, the big difference between Ferocity is that it's just a constant leech. Um, sometimes when you don't need healing, it's your healing, basically. And it's just not always... Um, always the best pet to have. It's better to have an on-demand heal that you can control when you want to have healing. Which, by the way, also heals you for a lot once it actually pops. Okay, there's like a paladin here. Stop it. Okay, need to get away. Because we are... Uh, not doing so hot. Sometimes you gotta kite. <laughs> Again, had this been the war within, I would not have needed to stand right here. Crap. I had nothing to press. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm so dead. There we go. I mean, we're still gonna win, so that's always good. Um, yeah, like, Survival Hunter, I don't know. Survival Hunter has always just kind of felt like... Like it does well if you have all your defensives. But once you press them, they're pressed. And you really need to be extremely careful of when you do actually press your defensives. Are people getting cocky? Feels like it. Okay, let's see if you can capture. Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Okay. I thought we could. Oh, well, that's no good. See, I don't have defensives up. Like, it's... <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's no good. I, I, <laughs> you can't do anything, I can just run. That's all I can do. Oh, and he's there. And he didn't keep running. Okay, well... <laughs> so, like, self-survivability just doesn't feel as good as Survival Hunter. As you can tell, like... It's more, it's, it's more the gaps between when you have stuff to press. Uh, once you... Like, you really only have Feign Death. Acceleration is also a spell that's... Like, even though it reduces its cooldown based on when you're actually, you know, spending focus, it, it's still, like, it takes so long to get back online. It's just, a, uh, it's just not fun <laughs> as it is right now. Not to mention that, like, if I had the defensives that we have in the War Within with the new uh, reworked Survival Hunter, like, even then, I would have more stuff to press. We won. That's good. How did I do? Again, it's not about... A lot of people, they'll go in and they'll do this. They'll click on the damage and say, Oh my god, this guy, he did he pretty much cost us the game because he did so poorly. Like, they'll look at the damage. But in reality, if you look at, like, bases assaulted and defended and stuff like that, like, it, they'll have, like, the highest points because they actually stay behind to defend. So, of course, they're not going to have as much damage. So, like, a lot of people are just kind of looking at damage and <laughs> like how many kills did they get and it's it's one of those things that always out people as being like they have no clue how battleground works because they'll they'll just be looking at the damage meters uh it, it proves how they just like focus on just going to the middle and just fight there without actually capturing the flag or capturing the bases they just focus on getting that damage um but yeah survival hunter it feels I was about to say it feels good when it comes to the damage rotation, but then I remembered Survival Hunter and the War Within. It just feels so much better. Um, it, it's still, it's a very niche spec that I think it's one of the least placed, played specs in the entire game. Um, and it's like, the people who play Survival Hunter play it really well. I don't. <laughs> but other people that play Survival Hunter play it really well. Uh, so it's one of those niche specs that just performs extremely well if you're willing to climb that skill ceiling, so to speak. Um, but the War Within, it, it's just gonna... 
it's gonna save survival hunter for you know for the common person who isn't willing to just like endure through the pain of trying to get good at survival hunter so uh that's gonna be fun i'm looking forward to survival hunter um can't wait to make another video of these once we do get the rework survival hunter uh, so with that said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time